a beautiful evening here in Tuscany. Kyle and I are about to embark on a cooking adventure with the infamous Seamus O'Kelly. Don't be fooled by his accent. He's mad and 100% Irish. Cooking has to be something that is using natural ingredients. Tuscan cooking particularly is using the best ingredients and doing as little to it as possible. Okay. 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 So in other words, at the end of the day, you digest well, mm -hmm. okay? You can go home and you can also make love to your wife. <laughs> I would start immediately with a shank of veal. Chefs at the school offer cookery courses for all standards, from complete beginners like ourselves to experienced amateurs. We have the, this mixture of vegetables. We take uh, the shank of veal. Watch, watch. That's a hell of a lot more salt than you can, okay? Sure but is. I can guarantee you that when you eat this, it's perfect. It is the salt that brings the flavor out. If your doctor tells you that you're not allowed to eat salt, to hell with it. <laughs> you only live once you in your life, You have to enjoy okay? it. Oh yeah. yeah, a little bit of olive oil. And then we need some white wine. A little white wine, half this white wine. This is a standard bottle of yep. white wine. And half water. Right. In the oven, that Four will hours. take three to three and a half hours. Right. This will just fall off the bone. You will digest it, and I assure you, after, if you've eaten well, you'll make love well too. My kitchen, a lot of it is based on aphrodisiac. For you people that don't believe. Yeah. There it is there. Look at that. It's there. There it Menu is. aphrodisiac. There you go. So if your relationship's struggling, you know. Yeah. Seamus will, will kick you up. Come see me. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, when you talk about aphrodisiac, it means that you've got to put it in your head. But there are definitely certain things that Trigger. are, and you've got to help it. Tell me, you know. tell me what they are. Oysters? Beans on toast. Well, oysters, pork. obviously. <laughs> there are many herbs, for example. Uh, sage. Okay. okay. And then you just and serve sage like is extremely aphrodisiac. No, have you tested this? Oh, my How many times? Oh, my, well, that's up to you, my man. <laughs> <laughs> you talk about duck à l'orange, which everybody thinks is a French dish. Mm -hmm. It's not at all. It was born in Siena in the 1500s, sure. okay? Taken by Catherine de Medici to France. I will not comment on what the French have done to it because it, <laughs> <laughs> what we do is use the breasts of duck mm -hmm. and we slice the skin with a good knife because otherwise you wouldn't cut it. Put that into a frying pan with a little bit of oil, okay? Fry it so it gets nice and brown, okay? And then the orange skin cut into julienne, very fine, okay. thrown into the pan, and then the juice of the orange and your That's it. normal wine. A reduction of that, just for a little while, and you have your duck around. We are quickly learning that Seamus likes to combine cooking lessons with lessons in love. Amongst other random life lessons. Why do you think I have hair on my back? Uh, I wouldn't like the gas. Switching a little bit, you know, we do zucchini flowers. I'm famous for that. Okay. Um, I have my CD. I'm a musician as well. How um, often do you serious? perform? Every night. Every night. Every night. Are I serious? sing here. Yes. I need to get yeah, a copy absolutely. of that CD. I'll give you the CD. Now, if, um, I put, if I brought a, a lady back to my place, and if I put on the zucchini flowers... I promise you, you are guaranteed full su uh, you know, success. <laughs> <laughs> The like band is called. The, the is band is called Afro, uh, is zucchini flower. Right. The uh, disc is called Aphrodisia. Oh my yeah. God! I would really like to talk about you know, beef steak alla Fiorentina, That's which is very awesome. famous to hear. Yeah. Okay. So what I do is a very hot grill, a slight angle, a very slight angle. Okay. So what we do is we put the beef on the top. Here's the fat. What happens is the fat from here Trips. in a slight angle goes into those grooves right. and okay. feeds the meat. Okay. A capito. 
Pepito. Meno male non sei stupido. Ah, ok. okay. Me non lo so. You are feeding the meat with this natural fat. Right, ok. okay? That's the essence of a, so, a bistecca alla Fiorentina. Right. First of all, you want to enjoy the biggest thing that's been given to us in life. Yes. What, what, what the hell is, what is there in life? Eat. Yeah. Well. Drink well and do something to your wife or girlfriend or whatever well. Same okay? stuff. Those are... You're talking I'm about being second very right? <laughs> it's been very good. <laughs> The wonderful thing was just the other day, there were two people who took my aphrodisiac menu. Mm -hmm. They called me out of the kitchen, and I went to them and said, you know what, it's working. And I said, but sir, your hands are still on the table. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've done enough.